Hey guys, it's been a while. My apologies. The last couple of months have been a crazy whirlwind, but a really good whirlwind. I published uh, my first book, Calmed Growth After Trauma, in, on July 1st. The pre-sales in June were phenomenal. Thank you so much to everybody for your support and love. It's really um, rocking my socks off to see that what's been put on my heart over the past year to see it unfold and show me like that I listened to my heart for for a reason and I trusted even through the fear and the frustration and the intimidation which is the fear um through all of it I persevered and I just kept pushing and so from here where do we go well if you don't know um I have been teaching for 12 years the first seven was in special education with students with behavioral and emotional needs. Taught me so much. The last five were in general education where I got to collaborate and work a lot more with adults. So that was a nice change from special education where I did work with adults, just didn't get to collaborate um, and um, grow in certain ways that I've been able to the last five years. So with that being said, I resigned. I resigned from my teaching job after 12 years, after two master's degrees, you know, you know, the pension that comes at the end of teaching, you know, and in the future, you know, that's always an option to go back to. However, let's focus on right now and what's happening right now. Over the last year writing that book, um, writing my book, Calmed Growth After Trauma. I've done a lot of self-reflection and a lot of soul searching and I did a lot of tapping into my faith and just really counting on God. And again, whether you call it God, energy, spirituality, whatever you call it, or maybe you prefer to be defined as atheist, whatever you call it, I hope that you have something that is like a hope hope and faith for what you live for. And so I've tapped a lot more into that over the past year. And here I am seeing it unfold and it is incredible. So I had just really felt like I was being called to help veterans more as I, I've wanted to for a long time. But then I figured out and I just had it put on my heart the best way to do so is to help the friends and family of veterans. So that's kind of where um, I'm taking things. I resign. I started my own business so that I can launch these different initiatives to help veterans. One of the first ones coming up is Found, a wellness program that's designed to help the family and friends of veterans to have the tools and um the confidence to uh, build their relationship and be of a best support with a plethora of resources to help their veteran the best that they can. And so things are just continuing to to come my way. And, and although I'm sitting here like blown away and mystified, and if you've talked to me, you might even be like, wow, she's not half a writer. She's not a woman of many words when really i'm i'm feeling very humbled but also just in awe in awe of god's grace and how it really is true you know god's word and my devotions it really is true at 37 years old i'm seeing it really is true like if you listen and just count on him worry about nothing pray for everything it really is true. Like it really, when you do that, when you tap into that and like give him everything, your happiness, your sadness, your frustration, then you start to see the abundance of his grace come your way. And it is just incredible. I'm not going to sit here and continue rambling on on this video telling you about the things that are happening, but I can't wait to continue telling you. So I'm going to do way better at posting videos. And there are some other things that um, I'm going to be tapping into so that I can do those and share those on my YouTube channel. So stay tuned and have a wonderful week.